Dan here for EnglishSportsLessons.com. In part one of our lesson on offside, I talked about the overall picture of what offside is and is not. Today we are going to learn when offside is penalized, which is different from when someone is offside. A player is considered to be guilty of offside and the referee stops play when the player is considered by the referee to actively be involved with the play by interfering with the play, interfering with an opponent, or gaining an advantage by being in an offside position. It is important to note that the referee must make up his or her mind whether the player is actively involved in the play. Common occurrences of these three instances when a player is offside might be plays like number one, in interfering with the play. The player directly receives a pass from his teammate while in an offside position. This is a fairly easy call to make by the referee. Number two, interfering with an opponent. In this situ situation, the player might be offside in a position that keeps the defender from easily getting the ball, which is being passed to an attacker on the far side. While the offside player is not necessarily interfering with the play, in this instance they could be considered to be interfering with the opponent because they are slowing the defender down due to them being in the way. This is usually a harder call for referees to spot since it doesn't occur as frequently as the first scenario and is much more of a judgment call than, than the first as well. The third, gaining an advantage from being in an offside position. There's a number of possible scenarios that could happen here, but the one that you probably will see most frequently will be something like a free kick taken around the penalty area uh, maybe about 20-25 yards out uh, where the kicker has a chance to shoot on goal. On occasion an attacker may get in front of the goalkeeper in an offside position. If this happens the kick may go to the back of the net it looks like a goal. However, this player would be considered offsides and penalized because they're screening the goalkeeper's line of sight, consequently not allowing the goalkeeper to see the ball. Even though the offside player never touched the ball and is really not involved in the play, by screening the goalkeeper's vision, this would be considered offside. Depending on the nature of the play, this can also be a tough call to make during the run of play for the referee. Now that we have a fairly good idea of when one can be penalized for being offside, our next segment in this series will discuss when one can be offside and not penalized. This is important for attackers to know and take advantage of. See you next time.